cataractcoach.com. Scleral fixation using internal suture loops. It's another technique to fixate an IOL to the sclera in the sulcus. So now you see entering the eye here, the sclera, probably about two millimeters back, a little bit of a tunnel there, and this needle is actually holding a suture. So there's the proline. Looks to be about a 6-0 proline, and pull that out of the incision here. So that uh, hollow bore needle was just used to thread that through. You could have also just pl plastered it with a needle. And so now you have this one end. And what the surgeon is going to do here is, this is an interesting technique here, you're going to tie a loop. And these two loops are going to be used. There's an overhand loop there. These loops are going to be used to encircle the IOL haptic at the haptic optic junction here. So now there's the other end of the suture material, and that's placed back inside the eye. And then now another hollow bore needle is going to be used on the opposite side. And so again, measuring there about two millimeters posterior to the limbus. There we go. And then make sure as this needle goes in, you'll see it's a little bit of a, a tunnel length there. There we go, measuring on either side. And so here you go. There's the entering into the sclera at, the, at an angle there. And now here feeding that through. And this is now you have a loop here of suture material. So feed that thing through all the way. You can get that bubble out. We've obviously sped up the video here and, and made some edits so we can get through it relatively quickly. The original surgery was about an hour, so things do take time. Notice how the patient looks like he's already had a full part plane of vitrectomy. Patient already has an AC maintainer in there, and now pulling that suture out. So you can pull that through, and then again, a little cautery on the end just to make sure it doesn't slip inside. Now here is where the extra incision is being made, and this is going to be just to externalize this loop temporarily. So you'll see, we'll pull this through here. And so, again, that loop that was created is going to be used to encircle and hold the IOL haptic near the haptic optic junction. So there it is. There's that one loop and pulling that inside the eye. There it is. And using this little hook here and pulling that suture out. Now, there we go. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. So that's, that's the loop to hold one haptic. you got to do one, obviously, for the other side as well. And so now we uh, there's that large loop there. Okay, got the point. And now getting the other one done, we'll just fast forward through that. There's the other one placed as well. And so now you've got these two loops here, and you can see those four suture ends. Now it's time for the IOL. So enlarging the incision a little bit to get the lens in place. And so as you inject this lens, again, you need to get the haptic inside those loops. And so more viscoelastic is a good thing in the anterior chamber there, just to give a little bit of protection. And now let's see, um, grabbing that one suture. Okay, tucking to the side, a little bit of tape maybe. And then now, of course, injecting the IOL. That's going to be the important part here. Now, what are the other options? You could have put a three-piece lens and done, done a Yamane. You could have done the... Uh, four-point fixation with Gore-Tex. There are a lot, a lot of other options as well. But here you go, injecting this. This is that single piece acrylic lens. There it is. And then this is one, looks like, without eyelets. And so now you've really got to manipulate that lens carefully, and you want to get that loop around the haptic. And so there we go. Once those two haptics are placed within the loops, then you can tighten this up and it'll securely hold the lens. Now do keep in mind that these hydrophobic acrylic lenses aren't super strong and the, the proline suture there is pretty strong. So you can, if you're not careful, you can actually cause it to cheese wire and eat through or break through the acrylic IOL haptic material. And so rotating the lens around here, let's see, get that haptic going. See if we can get the loop around the haptic. Again, not a simple maneuver here. It's a little bit of a tricky thing. Now, I want to show you on Cataract Coach the full library of everything. And that's why we're showing you this. And so there we go. That's one suture tied down a little bit, cinched down. And now let's see. There's the other haptic getting it through that loop. There you go. And once you have that haptic through there, you can go ahead, bring that loop inside the eye, and then simply just pull the two ends, tighten it up. Now, be careful, though. You have four spots here. You're going to have to do that flange technique for the ends of these prolines. 
You could conceivably tie the proline ends together instead, but I think a flange technique is probably going to be preferred here. So there you can see it takes quite a bit of manipulation to get this through. So yeah, a lot of different options here. I'm still telling you, you can do an anterior chamber lens if done appropriately. Those can still work well. You can do an iris claw lens here. You can do Yamani technique. You can do the Gore-Tex fixation of a lens. You can use a belt loop technique. This is just an internal loop. So a loop that basically tied around each haptic. Now you go, you can see the lens is positioned appropriately. And now the suture ends can be tightened up. Again, not too tight, just enough to keep it snug. And then now what you need to do is you need to make a flange here for those two ends. There you go. Don't pull too much. And so pull on that end. There we go. Cut it and then make a flange. Use the cautery for that. And then I prefer if you bury the flange within the sclera. I don't like to see the flanges just sitting under the subconjunctival space because those are, to me, likely to erode with time. If you just push it there under the conge, that's okay for now, but what happens later, this can actually erode through. So doing the cautery on all four ends, and then you'll have a nicely centered up lens that has good stability. Now, I have not done this technique. I think it's interesting. I'm not sure if I would choose this over other techniques, but again, our goal here is to give you the full library so you can make a decision for yourself. I also want to remind you, you have to check out the website too, cataractcoach.com. Do you know if you're a resident, I have a full 25-part curriculum series so you can learn totally free? Do you know there's a free cataract PDF book? You can go download it today, put it on your phone, just give it to your friends. It's just a PDF book teaching about cataract surgery. And then we also have, obviously, an incredible volume and library of videos that you can search with a much better search engine than YouTube. And you have to also check out our podcast. So if all these things are available on cataractcoach.com, please do me the favor of checking that out. And also subscribe to our free daily email. You can get this video sent to you every day in your email. And then you just click on the link in your email. And it'll open up your YouTube app and give you right to YouTube. So end of the case here. Looks pretty good. Nice outcome. Thank you for sharing.